Verse 3. Reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, since the law has only a shadow of the good things to come and not the very image of them, it can never make perfect those who come to worship by the same sacrifices that they offer continually each year. Otherwise, would not the sacrifices have ceased to be offered, since the worshipers once cleansed would no longer have had any conscience of sin. But in those sacrifices, there is only a yearly remembrance of sin, for it is impossible that the blood of bulls and goats take away sin. For this reason, when we came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offerings you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. In burnt offerings and sin offerings you took no delight. Then I said, As it is written of me in the scroll, Behold, I come to do your will, O God. First he says, Sacrifices and offerings, burnt offerings and sin offerings, you neither desired nor delighted in. These are offered according to the law. Then he said, Behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first to establish the second. Behold this, will we have been consecrated through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 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 Responsorial song. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord says to my Lord, sit at my right hand till I make your enemies your footstool. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The scepter of your power will stretch forth from Zion, rule in the midst of your enemies. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. Yours is the princely power in the day of your birth, in holy splendor, before the day star, like the dew, has begotten you. You are, you are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord has sworn and he will not repent. You are a priest forever according to the order of Melchizedek. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The seed is the word of, of God. Christ is the sower. All who come to him will live forever. Alleluia, alleluia. Jesus and his brothers arrived at the house. Standing outside, they sent word to Jesus and called him. The crowd seated around him told him, Your mother and your brothers and your sisters are outside asking for you. But he said to them in reply, Who are my mother and my brothers? Looking around and low seated in the circle, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of God is my brother and sister and mother. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Good morning. Good morning, Father. Good morning, brothers 
and sisters. Good morning, brother. Good morning, brothers and sisters. And this is true. This is true. If we have in our gospel today, the Lord said, looking around, looking around him, looking around at those seated in the circle, he said, here are my brothers and sisters. For whoever does the will of God is my brother, sister, and mother. And that's, that's the our common introduction and greeting. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Because if we have faith in Christ and that's the will of God, then we are brothers and sisters. And this is the implication of having faith and obedience to God. We are brothers and sisters in Christ. Amen. Amen. This is our challenge. So that sometimes I have faith in God. We, we, we obey God, we have faith in God, and others, never mind. <laughs> never mind. I mean, the other people are fair. Never mind. No, if we have faith in God and obedience to God's will, the implication is everybody around us is our brother and sister and mother and father. This is what God, the Lord, invited us today, challenged us today, that we have faith in Him, obedience to God's will. We are brothers and sisters. Amen. Amen.